Thanks, Shane. Thanks, mate. <coughs> About <coughs> choking on my chai. I'd really appreciate it. What? You ain't getting tired of nothing. Do you need some help? Yeah. Sounds like you're really struggling over there. the channel. Today we're getting really excited about fitting up these wheels. First up we'd like to send out a huge thank you to Two Step Garage and Mike Lake, the wheelie good drifter who supplies wheels. It's a very exciting time and today is going to be a wheelie good one so we look forward to sharing it with you. How are you feeling today man? I'm feeling really good about today's episode. I'm also feeling really good. So let's get stuck into it and fit some wheels. Doing a really good job there, mate. Really hard work. That time you did some. You want me to do it? Okay. Do you want me to do it? If you really feel like it. I don't really want to, but I will. Alright guys, so we're over at the time machine now. As you can see here, we've got these Rave wheels from Two Step Garage. So big shout out to the guys at Two Step Garage for hooking us up with that. Thank you, Mike. And we are about to just put on some Continentals. They are 235 4018MC6s. These will just be for, for these wheels. We do have over here just some wind runs that uh, we've got. They were just scrap tires at the workshop. They're 225, so these will be the skidders. And then these will just be for the front end, just for cruising around the streets and what have you. So, I'm gonna get stuck in, fit that one. We've already done that one. I'm gonna get this done. Put it on a time lapse and we'll see how we go.
Are they talk to spec? Three Ducker Duggers. Perfect. Oh, first glimpse. Oh, this thing's gonna look mad. This thing's gonna be legit. We're definitely gonna have clearance issues. Not with that hammer I just used. <laughs> Looks like a real race car. They're actually not that bad. Like the poke on them. I don't know, it's got quite a bit of camber in it, but we might have to actually dial some camber out. Might have to put some in the rear. We're not taking any out of the front. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna let it down, we're good to go? Yeah. Oh, have you got those? Have you got those those fully sick wheels? You need to check the tire pressure. Ah, oh, okay. I just wanna put the, I just wanna put those, the Mad Dog valve caps on. Can you, on that? Thank you, Shane. I really, really, really appreciate you doing heaps of the work today. Heaps of the work? Yeah. I could do that. My, do my back's really tired and sore. Where are those valve caps in your pocket? See? I told you. What? I'm just gonna have to bully. There we go. 36 on the money. Look at you go. No point checking the rest of them then. I don't need to. It's all done. So, big shout out as well to Mike again. Gave me these Mad Dog Two Step Garage valve caps. Although he didn't give me the stickers for the center caps. So, Mike, I'm coming down to bust your balls to get the center caps. The, the knickknacks and the bling is the important stuff. No one really cares about the car. All they care about is all the little things. That's all people care about, the little things. Oh, if this thing... Valve caps are just annoying when you're trying to do tire pressures. This thing looks mad. I'm starting to contemplate whether I should sell my Honda and drive this as a daily and buy another car. <laughs> and we do another E46 drift build on another car. What do you reckon, Shane? I can do whatever I want. You just owe me half your Honda. This thing's gonna look mad. All right, we'll put it down on the ground. We'll get it out the front and then we'll take some shots of it. We'll just do a quick double check of the fitment and how it's all sitting. And then once we do that, yeah, we'll go outside, we'll do some cinematic shots. We'll go from there. Once again, big thank you to Mike at Two Step Garage for hooking us up with these wheels. And shout out to Conti as well. You are right there, mate? They did give us a bit of a discount on the tyres. Um, we are a continental one. You are right there, mate? Yep. Just like the roof all over again. We are a continental one program dealer. So continental is the main set of tyres that we do sell. Um, so obviously it's only fitting that we do put them on this for the steers and the, and the street tires. So we'll get it outside and then you can have a good look.
All right, guys, we're done with the beamer now. Put the wheels on. We did have to make just some minor adjustments to the camber. Um, also, we will definitely, definitely need to get the guards rolled. We did just do a little bit of manipulation with the pry bar in there, but um, I'll give you guys a look now. See what it's, see how it looks. The fitment on it is perfect. Just get those guards out a bit. They are just slightly rubby. It's absolutely dope as this horn. And I mean, it's got some camber in it. If you look here, you can see. This has definitely, definitely got some camber in it. So it's going to look mad. You can get just like half a finger through there. So front's got plenty, plenty of room in the front. In the next episode, something inside there is going to get changed. So thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you guys for watching. See you in the next one.